Okay. What would you think is your personal secret to print on demand success? Uh, I would think it is persistence, consistency, you know, those kinds of things that I think, um, and it's the mindset that I mentioned earlier that I know I have to, like, because I have to do this, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it every morning, every night, like consistently and don't look back. Like, even if I have a bad mm. day, you know, maybe, maybe today I don't get a lot of sales. I, I'm still going to upload and still like, I'm just moving forward and keep, keep yeah. it going. Like, don't let it drag you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say yeah. passion has something to do with it as well with you? Because you see, yeah, be yeah, because uh, yeah, I think that's that's part of it. The passion, the mindset, the like, whatever it takes. Like, you have to you have to really, really want it, right? I think yeah. the problem with most people is that they're comfortable and don't want to change. And like, I, I want to do this, but I don't want to do this. Kind of like sitting on the fence. Like, mm. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of. It's the same thing with the losing weight. Same thing with whatever business. Like, I kind of want to do this, but I. I don't really want to disrupt my lifestyle right now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You, if you if you want change, change is going to have to happen. So I, I, you know, I hardly watch TV. I, I mostly like after my nine to five. This is this is what I'm doing. Not that I don't have a life. I go on vacation and I, I spend time with family and things like that. But I, like a, a lot of my time, a lot of my free time is is this now, right? So if 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 you really really want it, yeah, that that's kind of what you have to do. You have to kind of change change your lifestyle to make it work so that and and even for me like if i if i want to even get even <clears throat> more sales and and better like i have to figure out what, what i need to do next right so that's why i'm looking into automation that's why i'm looking into um yeah having people help me with design because i i know like right now what i'm doing is great for what i want but if i want to step it up i'm gonna have to do something different than what i'm doing yeah. right now Right, you have so. to keep have to keep pushing, keep learning new stuff. Don't get comfortable. Um, yeah, but yeah, I think I think like you mentioned, when you're not when your free time essentially is is this business, um, uh -huh. you have to enjoy it. I think to some extent, like if oh yeah yeah, start or else you stop. And they they hate designing, they hate research. Yeah, it's, it's not going to get better. No, you have to either find something that you're actually a bit passionate about or mm -hmm. you have to make the thing that you want to do more enjoyable. Um, yeah, I've been really lucky because I, I like I said, I love doing t-shirts since I was younger. And so this came along and it, it seemed like a perfect fit, right? Um, before yeah. I thought it was just like a hobby and it was great because it was a perfect fit for that. But to make it a business even better because now that the thing that I love can actually make me more money and so yeah i would i think you're right right on with that passion because the, the passion will keep you going through the hard times because if you're gonna do it um even though someone doesn't pay you like i would i would design t-shirts anyway if i didn't make thousands of dollars yeah. a month right because i really love doing it and i've done it before without making any money and so mm. um it just it just keeps me going because yeah, in the yeah. in the hard times when when i'm not getting any sales or i'm not it doesn't happen anymore but in the beginning when i didn't get any sales i, I still make t-shirts because I'm, i just love doing it so yeah i, I think, think that's a good right point on. you mentioned mentioned about uh not getting paid for it because mm -hmm. if you think about it making progress is something you don't get paid for and you mm -hmm. have to make a lot of progress at the start of mm -hmm. most businesses so and i think that's, that's why most sale yeah i think that's why most businesses stop like youtube YouTube's a great example. Like your first hundred videos, you may not get paid at all. And so I think that's why most people stop because they're like, I need to get paid to do this. I'm like, mm, no, that's not how it works. You're gonna, you have to put in your time first and do it. And same thing with print on demand. Like you feel like, man, I made a hundred designs. Why am I not getting paid? The return on investment's not happening as quick as I want to. And and so a lot of people give up in the very beginning because they they expect that the return on investment will be a lot quicker and, it, and it's not. It takes it takes mm. a, a few months, if not years, to get your return. Yeah, I can definitely understand comes, it yeah. if you don't enjoy it. Like, I mm -hmm. totally get yeah. why people quit. But you have to keep that long-term mindset. And the same, yeah, the same with my YouTube channel. First half a year, I didn't really make any money, but I really mm -hmm. enjoyed the process, so it, it keeps you me going. If you enjoyed that clip, then click here to watch the full episode of Print On Demand Wisdom.